but some of it is big money. Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. It's time for another plush slash stuffed animals bolo video. Uh, these are big money bolos, plush items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy cheap and sell for a profit. And I will say plush is one thing you can usually pick up pretty cheap. Sometimes people would just give it to you. They just want to get rid of their plush. Garage sales, it's in the 25 cent bin. I mean, you can pick it up cheap. Goodwill bins, it's lightweight. You can pick it up cheap. So a lot of it's bread and butter. A lot of it's long tail but some of it is big money. Let's talk about it. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everybody in the group to share their best plush bolo. So here's what we got. Bought from the Goodwill for 99 cents, sold within five minutes of listing on Mercari, had the price starting high, so I went with that. I'm definitely on the lookout for more FNAF Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Plush. This is a plush Golden Freddy that sold for $71 plus shipping on Mercari. Get your plush on Mercari. Mercari is a great, great platform for plush. Now, if it's rare or hard to find or something that there's not a lot of on eBay, I would do an auction first because you just never know. You might get a bidding war. But if it's flooded on eBay or there's a lot on eBay, definitely cross post that item to Mercari and Poshmark. Plush will sell bo on both those platforms. Found this at a thrift shop for $5. Only got it because it had a tag. Put it in my death pile for a bit until I researched the brand. It's a little My Little Pony character and I couldn't find a photo of it anywhere online. So I aimed high and sold within a month or so. It uh, looks like this was in Australia, and the buyer sold it for $310. i am not sure what the conversion is, but it's a rare Oly, O-L-Y factory MLP Young Princess Celesta My Young Pony with tags. Bought from the Goodwill bins for less than a dollar. Sold it on Mercari. And it is a new with tags Game of Thrones collectible dragon and it sold for $104. Uh, so like I said, Plush on Mercari does really, really well. I do have a referral link down below. If you guys use that link to join, you are going to get $10 to shop, and then you're going to get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And that's $30 in your pocket of money to buy something on Mercari so that you can flip it for a profit, all right? And maybe you can find a bolo. And then you can come share it here in the Facebook group. If you guys aren't in the Facebook group, come join. And Poshmark, you get $10 to shop with my referral link. So both those are down below. I get a little money to shop also when you guys use those. So I appreciate it very, very much. My favorite sold from the last few weeks, a vintage Kitty Kitty Kittens plush. Bought for $3.99 at a value village. Listed the day after I found it for $154.99 and sold an hour later for full asking price. Yes. Definitely worth keeping an eye out for. The plush has a ball inside that makes it purr when moved. These kitty kitty kittens are definitely a bolo. They come in different colors and different um, patterns. So be sure to look them up. But once you see one, you will know what it looks like and you will get so excited. I found them multiple times and every time they've been a bolo. Bought at a Goodwill for $1, sold for full asking price of $59.99. It is a vintage 1985 Pretty Bit Popples plush pink and purple stuffed animal, and it is a mini. It's an eight-incher. Bought at a local Goodwill for $1 and sold it for $80. It's a rare Disney store Cinderella's dog, Bruno the Hound Dog, large 20-inch plush. It is hard to find, and this is what it looks like. I love plush. It just makes me happy. It's so easy to list. It's easy to photograph. It's easy to ship. I mean, it is a win-win. Some of it is long tail. Some of it is bread and butter, but there are big monies out there. So look them up. Bought at a semi-local Goodwill for $7 and sold it for $89. It's a Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty limited Valentine's Day Pink Hearts Sanrio plush animal. And this is what it looks like. Anything Hello Kitty, look it up. That goes with toys, or plush. Anything. Pencils. Whatever. Found at the Goodwill Outlet bins. Paid $2. Took a best offer of $40. I listed it high because I couldn't find another like it and it sold in two months. 
Now this is probably one that's more long tail because it's just a bear, but it's a bear that sold for $40. Vintage Dakin 1985 bear stuffed animal, white plush toy made in Korea with plaid. I paid $5 for Bluey and Bingo plush at a yard sale. Sold in two days for $49.95 plus shipping. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube and now on Instagram. And this is a cartoon and anytime you can find plush that go with cartoons, it's a good idea to look them up and probably pick them up. Some go for more money than others. This is probably maybe a harder to find one since it went for $49.95. But uh, super cute. I got this at the Goodwill Benz, paid maybe 50 cents for it, and sold it within an hour of listing for 50 plus shipping. It is a Thai Beanie Boos. Ellie Gray White Pink Wolf Great Lodge exclusive six inch plush. It sold for $50 and the buyer paid shipping and this sold on Mercari. Get your plush on Mercari. I also have a video on Thai Beanie Boos that sold for big money. Some of them, certain ones, most are bread and butter can go for over $100. And in that video, I share those with you. So type in Bolo Buddies TY Thai into the YouTube search bar and you'll find that video. Found this Build-A-Bear Sun-Kissed Hello Kitty at my local Goodwill. Paid $2.99, plush only, no clothes or accessories. Knew it was a good find from watching your videos. Tried auction with views and watchers, a couple of lower offers, but no bids. Listed as a buy it now, created a plush sale, sold tonight on sale for $108. Thank you, Courtney, for all your helpful information you provide. It's a 2010 Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Brown Tan sun Stuffed Animal Plush, 18 inch. I do have a video that talks about Build-A-Bear. And in that video, I talk about how much more some Build-A-Bear go for on Mercari. This is what the video looks like. So go check it out. Check out those big money Build-A-Bear bolos. Bought an online auction for 150. Whoa whoa, whoa. I put it up for auction on eBay starting at $895. Within eight minutes, I received a buy it now offer of $1,200 and accepted it. <gasps> would you have accepted it or would you let the auction ride? Let me know in the comments. Rare Rushton Star Creations Pink Sleeping Kitty Rubber Face Doll 12 inch pristine $1,200. I don't know what I would have done. <gasps> it's so hard. Okay, so what I have done in the past, and I know somebody else has done this as well. If I get an offer for $1,200, sometimes it just depends on the situation. A lot of times when it's a very desirable item, you're going to get like five or six offers. If that happens and there is a high demand for your item, and you can change your auction if it doesn't have a bid. So she could have gone in and changed her auction start price to $1,200 if she wanted to. Now, if she only had one offer, but that offer came within eight minutes, I probably would have waited a little bit if it were me. I would have at least slept on it because, well, here's the thing. If you sleep on it and you get a bid for $8.95, you just lost your $1,200 offer. But if you sleep on it, you may have five more people message you during the night saying, I'll give you 2000 or 1500 or whatever. Or you can just change the auction to 1200 and hope that that buyer bids on the item. If they're offering you 1200 they're probably willing to pay more. If it's very, very collectible and rare. So I don't know. Let me know you guys' feedback down in the comments. Bought at a yard sale for $2. No other comps except for the big names like Pikachu and Squirtle. Threw it up at a big number with offers turned on and let the market come to me. Accepted an offer of $250 and sold in less than 24 hours. There were many offers in that range, so I knew I hit the market $250. It is an extremely rare vintage Pokemon Hoot Hoot 1998 Cuddle Pillows plush with tags. And it looks like they listed it at 350. 
Bought this Folkmanis Siamese kitten puppet for $3 at a church yard sale. Sold on Mercari for $50 plus shipping. It is so cute. It's a Siamese kitten with tags. I bought this San Shi Bonnie plush at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold it for full asking price of $95 in a week. It is an official 2015 Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Sanchi Bonnie plush, and this is what it looks like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Leo's Treasures, and what does it mean to be a Bolo's Bolo Buddies member? That means you have joined memberships on my YouTube channel at level two. There is more information down below, and if you share a Bolo, I pop up a screenshot of your eBay store or your YouTube channel, and I link it in the description. So that is completely optional. It is for perks. Anybody can share a bolo to be featured in the video. I bought this at a local thrift store for $1.99. I sold him for $35.16 when I was having a sale on plush for 12% off. A vintage Disney store roly poly Oli beanbag 19 inch plush. The buyer paid shipping, so buyer was all in for $46.96. And this is what it looks like. And as I said, Leo's Treasures is linked down below. She does not have a YouTube channel. She has an eBay store. And if you go down and click on her eBay store and you click on the heart, that will follow her eBay store. And then when she has um, sales or lists new items or sends out coupons, you'll get a notification. Hi, Courtney. I found this Douglas Border Collie at the Goodwill for 99 cents. Went home and looked it up. I mistook it for another Border Collie by Douglas that listed and listed it for 58. Within minutes, someone messaged me on Mercari saying it had sold for $6. I immediately took it down and changed the price and started an auction on eBay. People were going crazy over this dog. It is an Amelia the Boulder Collie from 2009 retired. I got many offers and messages. People were not nice at times telling me I'd price it too high. Someone on eBay put the bid in for $600 then never paid. I put it on auction several more times and lots of watchers but no bids. I had someone reach out to me on Mercari who was genuinely nice, so I decided to finally take an offer of $403. No, it's not $600, but I didn't care. Sold for $403, plus shipping on Mercari. Bolo Buddies member, eat, pray, and thrift. And this is her eBay store. So she mistook it for a collie by Douglas. Wow. That was so nice of somebody to message you. I'm surprised they didn't buy it and sell it. And you know, that's one thing on Mercari is a lot of people mistakenly list things wrong and a lot of resellers source on Mercari. So again, if you're not on Mercari, if you don't want to sell over there, you might want to be buying over there. And again, you can use that link down below to uh, sign up to join Mercari. And she said that was her highest sale yet as a reseller. And that is awesome. Realistic. She put realistic plush in the title. That's also a really important word if it's an animal that looks realistic. That's one thing that's going to, I think people type it in. People love buying animals that look like their animals. Um, recently, a uh, MacPack reseller, um, it's MacPack reselling on whatnot and YouTube, I believe. She keeps changing her names and then it's MacPack. I don't know. I'll link her down below, but she's got different names on different platforms, but she's going to be selling on whatnot also. But she bought a draft from my buy it now section on whatnot during my live show. So she had bid on some auction items and I have some plush listed in my buy it now over there. And she bought a draft to remind her of a memory. So people buy plush for sentimental reasons. Um, MacPack reselling is awesome. She is a huge support to the reselling community. Check her out on YouTube and check out her eBay store. I will link her down below. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come follow me over on Whatnot. I'd love to see you in the chat. And if you come over to Whatnot and you're from the YouTube channel, say, I came from your YouTube channel. All right, you guys. So if you're not on Whatnot, come see me. I'm selling on Whatnot now and I love it, love it, love it. Somebody asked me the other day if I'm going to do a plush show and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I've got lots of plush. I could. Do you guys want me to do a plush show on Whatnot? I don't know. 
maybe, maybe. Um, so follow me on whatnot. If you use the referral link, you'll get $15 to shop. I'm Bolo Buddies over there also. Thanks for watching.